people and welcome back to my channel for those who are new hello my name is Tiana I am a fashion youtuber I think uh, I usually do a lot of fashion videos on my channel where I show you how to create patterns or fashion illustrations show you my hauls and style and etc today I'm gonna do a little different video uh, and it's more about me so I really want you to get to know me a little bit better. So today I will show you 10 facts you did not know about me. Fact number one is that I am like a morning person. I love waking up early in the morning and you know doing all the things that I want to do before going to the bed. Because I know if I wake up early in the morning, like at seven o'clock, I know I have all the time to do like I have like the whole day and specifically now in Sweden this time of the year which is very very dark you know I have to wake up early so I will have prepare all of my things if I'm gonna do some shoots if I'm gonna you know go out you know I have to like prepare my makeup my hair my everything before the sun comes up and then I have the time to do all the other things because the days are very very short in Sweden so yeah I'm a morning person Fact number two, I have to have, as soon as I open my eyes in the morning, as soon as I open my eyes, I go to my coffee machine and I'm like clicking that button, I'm like, I need some coffee. Because I am a coffee person and I love good, strong cup of coffee in the morning. So I, like, that's one main thing. Whatever I go, whatever I do, if, even if I met my parents or my friends, everybody knows, like, in the morning, the first thing I do, like, I don't brush my teeth, I don't, um, like, wash my face. I just want my cup of coffee to waken up, then I drink my coffee, and then I go brush my teeth, and then I wash my face. So I really, like, need that time of the morning where I have my coffee and then I will scroll through my emails and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I need my cup of coffee. <laughs> the third fact is that I actually don't smoke. I don't like the smell of it. Like I really hate the smell of it, specifically if the clothing, um, the, like the clothes are smelling cigarette. I'm like, mm, you know, I just don't like that. Fact number four is that I actually cannot handle alcohol. I don't know why, maybe because I don't, I don't drink a lot. So, it's, I can drink like one glass of wine and I will still feel good. And I'm like, okay, I'm good, thank you. And then I'll go to my bed because I feel directly like, oh, I'm like sleepy, I can't hold it anymore, I just wanna sleep, you know. So after one glass of wine, I can drink two of them as well. But then I'm like directly going to the bed because I can't handle it. Um, so yeah, I'm not good at drinking at all. <laughs> Act number five. I am actually very, very good in doing a nail art. I don't know how many of you know that, but I usually, I have started with doing nails when I it was like 2010, everything was so new to you. I saw a lot of YouTubers try to recreate like leopard nails or zebra nails and you know, and I learned so much from that. I did not know back then that there are different types of gels. I did everything with nail polishes, but then I like realized that, okay, I need to buy like the real stuff. And I did that like through a lot of years, I have been doing a lot of nail art, nail art for my friends, but I did it all for free, so I decided to stop with that because I felt like it took a lot of time for me and I decided that I don't want to do that anymore. So <laughs> I didn't want to do free nails for anybody and I was so afraid to ask somebody for money, so I decided to stop with doing nails for other people for free. And I do only my nails for myself. So I do it myself, or my mom, or my siblings, but I don't do it for anybody else. I actually can speak uh, multiple languages. 
So I speak Serbian because I am Serb and I was born in Serbia. My parents are Serbs and we try to speak home a lot of Serbian language. Um, then I know Swedish because I grew up here in Sweden. I've been living here for a lot of years. And uh, yeah, this is where I live and this is where I work and all of my friends and family are here. Um, then I also speak English that I have been taught at school. I also speak French. Je parle un peu français. I'm joking. I'm not that good, but I try as much as I can to, you know, remember because it was like a long time ago and I don't speak French at all because I don't have the opportunity to speak with somebody French. Uh, but uh, yeah, I would really love to, you know, develop that language much more. But since I actually am from former Yugoslavia, I understand a lot of former Yugoslavian countries. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them. <laughs> I actually had braces. I don't know if many people know this. Uh, for those who actually have started watching my tutorials on my channel, who have been following me from the beginning, n probably have noticed that my teeth are much more straight than what they were before I started my YouTube video. The older as I got, I realized I really had to do something with my teeth because it's very, very important for me to have a great smile and not be afraid of smiling. Because usually I would like put my hand like ha, 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 like that, just because I was afraid and ashamed of my teeth so I decided I need to do something about it and I contact um, it was a new clinic that opened in the city where I live now it's called my dentist you pay for this box and then in this box you go to your dentist he will like take the print of your teeth and uh, every two weeks or every week you will change the um, like the forms of the teeth um, so I'm gonna show you like how how it looks. So it looks like this. It's like see-through, as you can see. It's like plastic. It's you cannot see them. You can actually see that I actually have braces. But as soon as you're gonna eat something or drink something, you have to take them out, and then you have to drink and you have to brush your teeth, and then they're gonna place them back again. So that is like the like the boring part, but. I actually had them for about six months and you start with like you start with different numbers so I start with number one and then uh, next week you start with number two and then you start with number three and then the doctor or your dentist will tell you well you have about 12 um, 12 those kind of forms to change until you are done you know I am very happy that they are straight and uh, it really changes my confidence and yeah, I should have done this much more earlier when I was younger, but not that I'm old now, but you know, when I was much more younger um, because I want to have to go through all of this process. So yeah, so I had braces. I do not know which zodiac sign I am. I was born in May 21st, I think in the 9 or half, 9.30 in the morning. And uh, some year when I look at my like horoscope, I look that that I am actually a Taurus, but some years I am a Gemini. So I don't know which zodiac sign. And a lot of people are like, oh, which zodiac sign are you? I'm like, I don't know. I, I I'm between like I was born right in that like the way the suns or the planets like changes, and I'm right in that middle. So I don't know which zodiac sign I am. I usually always say that I'm a bull with two heads. Uh, but I don't know exactly which zodiac sign I am and if you do know please comment below or contact me on social media because I would love to know because a lot of people are asking me this fact number nine. Oh, oh my god so listen I don't complain when it comes to food I like I literally eat everything but there is one thing I cannot drink and that is yogurt um, I have not drink yogurt for many years now um, not even milk. I, I don't think I ever took a cup of milk to drink. It's just... I don't know why. Uh, but when specifically when it comes to yogurt, I actually am always avoiding to drink yogurt. When you drink that yogurt, you will kind of feel the small bumps in there. And as soon, as soon as I drink it and I feel those little bumps, like I, I get this... Uh, you know, this, uh, I don't know why, I just want to puke. So I don't drink, uh, I have tested a lot of yogurts, 
Um, I have tested like a lot of them and as soon as I feel that little like bump, those little bumps in there, I'm like Whoa. So I cannot drink yogurt. Uh, I think last fact you did not know about me is that I am actually almost always overdressed. Like, always. I, if I have the opportunity to wear heels, I'm gonna wear heels all the time. Um, and I know a lot of my friends have told me like, you know, we can't go out with you because you're like always overdressed. So we have to like put an effort to actually dress up because you're gonna be like over the top. I had my brother telling me like several times, like Tiana, we're gonna go to a store, we're gonna go to Ika and you know, we're gonna go buy milk. Why do you look like you're from runway? Like, please. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I feel good and I like feeling like beautiful when I step outside my house. I wanna feel like I am about to take over the world even though I'm not, but you never know. Before I close this video, I wanted to say that this beautiful jewelry that I'm wearing is in a collaboration with Filippo Loretti. He have an amazing, an amazing campaign of jewelries and watches and a lot of accessories. So I really would recommend for you to go and check them out. These are seriously like high quality jewelry and you will get also 15% of using my code TNA15 if you want to order something from them or their website. I'll put all of my links in my description box below. If you enjoyed this video, I really hope that you had fun watching it. I had super fun filming it for you and talking to you and it feels so great and it feels really, really good. And I'm gonna try my best to make more of these videos. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, I really wanna say also that Take care of yourself, take care of the people around you. If you can, spend more time with people that are important in your life because life is short and you never know what will happen tomorrow. So be happy, stay active, stay, uh, have a positive mindset and um, you will be fine. See you till next time. Hey on! that time when I created that video of 20 facts you did not know about me um, there are two facts that are no longer true Fact number one is that I actually started going to the gym it really boosts up a little bit of my energy and I really like it so I'm gonna continue go to the gym and I know how stubborn I was that I was never gonna go there but you kind of realize that you have to do something good for your body as well. One thing that is no longer true is that I actually dyed my hair. I dyed my hair twice. I did my hair first time, it was beautiful. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go lighter. So I went much more lighter than it was and it looks like this right now. And I did that last year in December. So it's the whole year and I can feel actually my fade like going from here, that's my natural color, and then this is like colored. So I regret it so much. Um, I think it's such a beautiful change. I love the change I had. I love the change I did with my hair. But I think for me, I never felt that my hair was such thin afterwards. I never felt that my hair was so like, um, like a broom, you know? I was like, what, what is this? This is how it is once you bleached your hair. So I was not aware that my hair will be damaged that much. So I regret it a lot.